Max and I are planning to go and play cricket this afternoon. Do you want some help? Yes, dear. I have collected some buttons to sell at the spring fair. Sure, Miss Squirrel. We would be glad to help. Yeah, mom. Let me help you. Wow, Miss Quirrell, looks like you have already grouped the buttons. Yes, dear. I have grouped the buttons in various place values such as ones, tens, and hundreds. Place values? Yes, dear. Place values help us to understand the values of the numbers such as ones, tens. Hundreds, thousands, etc. Amber, tell me what is the number written on the jars on the table here? The number is seven eight four. Can you tell me the place value of this number? Hmm? Oh, I don't know, Mom. Numbers such as seven hundred and eighty-four have three digits. Each digit. Has a different place value. The first digit on the left is called the hundreds place. It tells you how many sets of one hundred are in the number. The number seven hundred and eighty-four has seven hundreds. The middle digit is the tens place. It tells you that there are eight tens. The last Or right digit is the ones place, which is four in this example. Therefore, there are seven sets of hundred plus eight sets of ten plus four ones in the number seven hundred and eighty-four. Mom, so what's there in the jute sacks? Can you see the small jars? Each jar is filled with ten buttons. The jute sacks contain ten such jars each. So, the place value of a sack is ten times that of a jar, which is hundred. <laughs> so, come on now, find the total number of buttons in all. So, let's see. There are. Five buttons in the bowl. There are one, two, three, eight, nine. There are nine jars, and there are two sacks having ten jars each. This is going to be a tough one, Mom. Let me help you. So, there are five loose buttons. Nine jars, which make ninety buttons, and two sacks. So, if one sack has hundred buttons, two sacks would have two hundred. Correct, Max. So the total is two hundred and ninety-five. You are right, my dear. Now that you have learnt about place values, are you ready to identify the number according to its place value? Yay! Yes, yes we, we are, are ready. ready. Great, Amber. Which number is in the tens place? Ah, uh, the number nine. Correct, Max. Which number is in the ones place? The number five. Very good. And which number is in the hundreds place? The number two. Mom, I have a question. Sure, Amber. Go ahead. Can we use place values while counting money as well? Yes, sure, Amber. But we will use denominations instead of place values to group and count money. Denominations. Yes, dear. 
Denominations are the values of different coins or notes. When we want to count coins or notes, we group them according to their denominations. Mom, Max and I have collected some money for a charity and we need your help in counting the money. Sure, dear. I would be delighted to help you and Max. Wow! We have collected a lot of money, right Amber? <laughs> yes, Max. Oh, great! I can show you how to group money using denominations and count as well. Now, let's start grouping and counting the money using denomination. This is a 100 rupee note. So, Max, you collect all the 100 rupee notes. So, Max, how many notes do we have of the 100 denomination? There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 100 rupee notes or 5 notes with the denomination of 100. Brilliant, Max. Now, Amber, count the notes of denomination 10. They are the 10 rupee notes, right, Mom? Correct, Amber. There are, mm, let's see, 20 10 rupee notes. You are right, Amber. Which means? Which means that there are 20 notes of the denomination 10. <laughs> Perfect, Max. Now, let's count how many notes do we have of the denomination 1. I counted 25 notes of the denomination 1. And I counted 20 notes of the denomination 1. So the total is 25 plus 20 equal to 45 notes. Thus, there are 45 notes of the denomination 1. Yippee! So the total money we collected is... 500 plus 200 plus 45 which is equal to 745. You both have done a very good collection. We need to go and help my mom pack buttons for the spring fair. So let's quickly go over what we learned today. Place values help us to understand the values of the numbers such as ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, etc. Denomination is the face value of a note or a coin. It is shown on the face of the coin or a note. 